Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I said I'm going to start doing some tutorials on software defined radio. So let's start doing the first tutorial. Uh, mostly some of the demos, uh, which are going to be some tutorials plus some demos and things like that. So the first thing I want to start off with actually uh, with the demo of uh, how I can actually capture signals which are in air and uh, what type of an RF signals which are present currently in air so I can actually look at them I can uh, visualize them and then I hope I can record them as well and and analyze them la later so the first thing I'm gonna do is this I have my uh, computer which is right here that is connected to something called an hack RF right here this is connected to my hack RF through USB port so this is hack RF this is a cheap software defined radio uh, that has a frequency range of about uh, 50 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz it's a half duplex system which means you can either transmit or receive and that has a sampling rate of about 8 megahertz I also have another thing which is Adelum Pluto SDR uh, this is by analog devices uh, you can in this this is a full duplex system you can transmit and receive because it has two different antenna ports one for transmission one for reception and that has a frequency of about same thing 50 megahertz all the way up to 325 uh, uh, 325 three around approximately around 3.25 gigahertz but uh, you can update the firmware and uh, you can get up to 6 gigahertz of uh, of range frequency range so we're going to start off with uh, hack rf right here which is connected to my computer so the first tool that i'm going to use the first tool that i'm going to use is actually going to be my gqrx so once you download gnu radio companion you will get g uh, gqrx as well so let me open this up so once you open this GQRX up, this is the window that will pop up. You can go here. Uh, you see this button. Just click on it. You can select your devices. Like I have my hack RF. As soon as you connect your hack RF, it will recognize this. So leave everything as default. Dev device string input uh, rate. According to whatever the device you have connected, this will automatically pick that up. Or you can do a device scan as well. Just click OK. So once this window is popped up, now you're ready to actually capture signals. It is that easy. Okay, now the next step you need to do is just click on this play button, which is right here. Let me zoom in for you. This, it says start DSP. As soon as you hit this button, you will start receiving the transmission. You can start visualizing your signal like this. All right. On the bottom, you will get your uh, famous waterfall graph, and right now it's 103 megahertz. So if I were to tune in, so basically, in this setup, I have my hack RF, which is connected to an antenna, and this is what I'm receiving right now. All right. So I can just simply increase the frequency. And I can see the different transmission which are taking place. So right now at 105, 105 megahertz, you have a transmission which is actually your FM radio. Then I also have another transmission which is taking place right here. Right here. Uh, that is 107.2. Now I can do this. It also have another options as well. I can go here. I can select different type of filters. I can do modulation, demodulation. So let's do wideband stereo. And let's increase the gain of this. I think you can make sense of some radio sound that is coming out of my, uh, that, that my hack RF is receiving. Okay. I can turn off modulation as well. I can select different option narrow band FM I can move this frequency at 
at different point to see if I have a better antenna uh, that is actually capturing an FM signal I can easily see what's going on okay so let's just turn off the modulation right now let's let's do the mod off now the next step I'm gonna do is this uh, let's try to see what type of GSM signals which are present in air so in Pakistan uh, the frequency is around 935 megahertz which is actually GSM 900 downlink so let's go and see what's going on at 935 megahertz so let me go here as soon as I start increasing frequency I can easily visualize there's a lot of things which are going on in this range uh, these are all the signals which are currently present in the air and uh, which are GSM signals which are currently present in the air as you can see there is an activity which is taking place at 929 megahertz there is also another transmission which is taking place at 930 megahertz these are the downlink signal that my hack RF is currently receiving so this is the hack RF which is currently receiving my signals at 933 megahertz so I move on to different frequencies so if you increase frequencies you can clearly see there's a lot of activity going on and this is around at 937 megahertz so this is somewhere around 937 megahertz and as I increase my frequency I can move this so as you can clearly see this is around 937 this is around 935 megahertz and things like that so let's just increase this a little bit more there's a lot of things going on at 935 938 940 941 based on these spikes and based on this waterfall graph you can see there's a lot of different signals which are present in the air which my hack RF is actually currently capturing okay let's go to another signal uh, 1090 that is also another interesting signal which is actually ADSB and let's see do I have anything here in terms of ADSB am I receiving something related to ADSB not quite because my antenna is no good I need a collinear antenna to actually capture these type of signals which are there in present in air. Uh, let's do 1525, which is another signal for your GPS. Let's see, am I seeing anything here in terms of GPS signal? That got a lot of things to do with your antenna, what type of an antenna that you're using because uh, I don't have a good antenna which is connected to it. I'm just using a simple cradle point antenna that is actually rated for 4G but you can use different set of antennas for different applications to receive different type of signals okay let's see anything else in this you can see there's a little bit of a spike I can see okay I have something else which is taking place so by just actually moving towards the frequency and moving the frequency around you can clearly see what's going on so we're hitting another region which is actually GSM 1800 megahertz and I can see some activity on my waterfall graph as well as well as on my spectrum analyzer okay here we go we have another signal at about 1855 megahertz there is another signal which is present okay so let's simply increase the frequency here we go we have 1855 okay so there's there's a huge amount of activity going on from 1862 and all the way up to 1867 there's a lot of activity going on in that band 
which is from 1862. So basically this is GSM 1800, which is operating. So as you can see, my waterfall graph is pretty full in term with respect to signals, different type of signals which are currently present in the air. Okay, now as you can see a drop in your signal is mean there is nothing else going on. In this way, basically the reason I am showing you this is this you can use software defined radio. The reason for me to showing you this is actually the reason for me to showing you all of this is to show you the working capability of a software defined radio that before you need to build radios for a specific purpose now just using a simple program you can actually visualize what's going on in there and you can actually save these signals using GQRX because this thing has a capability where you can click save and then you can also save the signal and and people use this to actually capture the signal from your key fobs and actually replay those signals again uh, uh, to unlock your vehicles or unlock your garage doors and things like that uh, let's just basically look at at 2400 megahertz this is actually uh, 2400 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz this is your band for your Wi-Fi so as you can see there's a lot of activity at Wi-Fi band by just simply increasing the frequencies I can see there's a lot of activity which is taking place in my waterfall graph that is telling me there's currently a lot of Wi-Fi signals which are present in air and I can actually visualize them through my spectrum analyzer and my waterfall graph so so I hope you like this small tutorial on how you can use this, how you can use Hack RFs and, and cheap software defined radio devices like RTLSDR dongle to actually visualize your signals or to capture your signal, to save your signal and, and you can do post analysis through any software like GNU Radio or MATLABs and things like that. So I hope you like this small tutorial on, on, on software defined radio specifically focusing on gqrx and and i'll see you guys in my next video and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel